Hey, I'm Alan Brito. I'm an architect. And today I have a tutorial for people trying to migrate from SketchUp to Blender. And it's about how to create a two point perspective in Blender. If you skip it, perspective drawing class, let me bring you this diagram here so I can explain uh, what we are talking about here. This is a comparison between different types of perspectives. And this one, for instance, here, it's a one point and by point I mean vanishing point uh, you can see that we have just one point here this perspective here we are uh, using two points we have two points and this one here we have three points why is this a big deal well if you are working with architectural drawing or architectural visualization you must focus on two points a two point perspective why because you will get vertical lines uh, for instance if i try to draw here a vertical line you will see that they are vertical no distortions on the other hand if you try to draw those lines here with a three point perspective you will see that on the sides you will get a distortion no vertical lines the problem is by default the camera in blender will create this type of perspective here but we need this one so how can we fix that let me show you how easy it is to fix this for instance in uh, sketchup let's go to sketchup to see uh how easy it is to use this type of perspective there and here we are in a sketchup and if you are trying to use sketchup to create for instance an architectural uh, visualization or a point of view from a project you have an easy solution to fix the perspective or to create a two-point perspective here if you go into the camera menu you will see that we have a dedicated option here to create a two-point perspective it's quite easy just select this option and sketchup will change your perspective type here to use just two points if you draw some lines here for a reference you will see that we have no distortions on vertical lines which is great now the question is can we do something like that in blender let's go to blender to find out and in Blender, I have that uh, exact same exact same model. And if you want to learn how I imported that model here to Blender, I'm using this add-on here. I already explained how to use it. It's this free add-on that will give me a way to import SketchUp files directly to Blender. Uh, I will try to leave a link uh, with a card here so you can watch this tutorial in case you want to know how to install this step-by-step. -step. It's a free add-on. Now the best way to solve this problem or to create a two-point perspective here in blender before we do that let me just try to create here or place a camera i'll be using ctrl alt zero just to move my default camera my active camera press g z twice so you can take a look into this visualization now if we draw some vertical lines here just to check the perspective you will see that we do not have vertical lines. We have a distortion. This is a three point perspective. Now, there are two ways to solve this problem. First one is with the use of an add-on and the second is by changing the settings of your Blender camera. But changing the settings on your Blender camera will require you some uh, trial and error to find the exact uh, angle but using an add-on things will get a lot easier let me show you what is this add-on that i'm using now to install the add-on it's quite easy it's part of the blender extensions repository so it's free you have to go into the edit preferences and under here in get extensions uh, you just have to type perspective and it will be one of the first ones you will see here that we have this add-on called two point perspective now to install it it's quite easy just press this install button it will download from the blender extensions repository and you are good to go now how can we use that 
First thing you have to select or you have to uh, create or have an active camera in your scene and you will look into the scene tab from your uh, from your uh, from your uh, properties editor and here you will find a new section called two point perspective now if you click on this button here create two point perspective it will convert your current camera into a two point perspective it actually won't uh, it won't uh, really convert it will create a copy of your camera in the same location but with a uh, tweak its settings to create a two point perspective so if i click here you will see that it just created a new camera you will see that i have two cameras now let me just show it to you i have two cameras one which is the default camera or the camera that i had before and one with uh, less distortion uh, to create a two point per step uh, two point perspective effect and the question is is it really a two-point perspective? Let's try to draw some lines here to verify if we have any distortion. And if you compare with what we get right now, as you can see, no distortion, vertical lines. So the add-on works fine, which works great if you want to use this for architectural visualization now what are those settings how can we uh, how can you manually tweak this in case you want to uh, play around with this camera if you open here the camera properties you will see that the camera uh, or this add-on uh, will change or update the values for the shift x and shift y from your camera the difference here is that the add-on will try to will guess what is the uh, what is the best settings for your for your scene in case uh, you don't use the add-on you have to try uh, here a few values to find what is uh, the best uh, the best uh, distortion for your scene in case you want to create a two-point perspective and this is it you now know how to create a two-point perspective in blender which is great for architectural visualization and uh, if you want to learn more about how to use blender for architectural visualization uh, don't forget to check my uh, workshop about precise modeling for architecture where i explain how to use blender step by step as a CAD tool and i will leave links in the description for uh, my books I have two books here that uh, you might want to uh, read or use as a reference. This book here where I explain how to use or how to create 3D models in Blender using add-ons only, focusing on add-ons. And this book right here where I also explain how to use Blender step-by-step -step as a CAD tool. Links in the description in case you are not subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any future Blender tutorials. See you next time. Bye.